Hey everybody, Jason here from PyQuant News, back to bring you another idea for you to put into action to start trading. Today we're going to talk about the low volatility factor. So I think there's a big myth that people think high volatility equals high returns. I mean, no risk, no reward, right? Well, in fact, you can make money and actually outperform the benchmark on a risk adjusted basis by buying low volatility stocks if you do it the right way. Today, I'm going to walk you through step by step how to back test a low volatility factor strategy with Zipline Reloaded and then talk about what you can do to put it into action. Okay, we're going to start with our trusty Jupyter notebook as we always do. And first, we'll do some imports. So there's lots of imports with Zipline Reloaded, um, unfortunately, but they all make a lot of sense. And I actually like it because it's very clear what each one does. I'm not going to go through them in detail. If you want to learn more about what Zipline does from a low level perspective, you can take my course getting started with Python for Quant Finance. But for now, you can just trust me that we need all of these imports and they all do something. Next, we're going to create a couple variables that we'll use to define our strategy. So how many weeks are we looking back? How many days does that the overall universe size? And the quantile, so this is the group of stocks that we are interested in purchasing based on the low volatility factor. Okay, here's where the magic comes in. Now this is a lot of code and it looks scary and it looks confusing. What I would suggest if you're new to Python, just drop this into ChatGPT and you can literally ask ChatGPT what it's saying. But essentially, we're using the Zipline's internal machinery, what's called the custom factor, which plays very nicely with the pipeline API to build a factor. And essentially what the factor does is it creates a calculation for every stock in the universe on every single day of the back test. And it does this very quickly. And what we'll see next is when we actually build the pipeline, we're making all these calculations and then we're ranking each of the stocks in our universe based on the value. So essentially what all this is doing is it is looking for the standard deviation or volatility of weekly returns over a, a window, right? The window that we define up here. Um, so I kind of have that comment here. And here's how we are defining a return. And then we're using some, we're removing the overlaps to avoid what's called um, data leakage, that kind of idea. So, you know, prices in the markets have memory and you can create these five day chunks or non overlapping chunks to make sure that you're, uh, you're removing that bias. So essentially, all we are doing here is creating the standard deviation of weekly returns and we're doing it in, in a bit of a fancy way. Okay, the next step is to create the so-called pipeline. Now the pipeline API is part of the zipline reloaded library that lets us do all of the calculations across our factors very, very quickly and very easily. And you'll see how this becomes powerful shortly. But essentially, we're looking for the average dollar volume across our entire universe. So we're going to take the top 3,000 assets that have the highest average dollar volume. This is kind of a proxy for size. We're going to use our volatility factor here to compute the weekly volatility. We're going to come up with some target counts, and we're going to find the lowest volatility stocks. So that's what's happening here. We take the volatility, we take the bottom target count, masking it by our base universe. So this is all the really amazing functionality you get with the Zipline API. And then we create this so-called pipeline thing, we return it, and it essentially what it does is it creates a data frame. So you'll have a pandas data frame for every single day with every stock as the index, and you'll have three columns. Column one is the average dollar volume, uh, column two is the actual weekly volatility, and then column three are those assets that are the lowest volatility. So you'll have a true or a false. It will be true if that particular row is a stock with the lowest volatility, false otherwise. All right, so that's the setup. Um, to initialize the whole back test, we just create this function called initialize. This basically installs this make pipeline machine, as I call it. And then we schedule a function called rebalance to run at the beginning of every month at the first minute of the market open. All right, very powerful stuff. We create another function that executes every trading period before the trading starts. So what this will do is it will recalculate this pipeline 
every trading day. So every day we know which universe of stocks as what I just described has the lowest volatility, which creates our trade tradable universe. Okay. That's essentially what is he happening here. Uh, we then pull those assets out and then set it to what's called a state variable, which we have in the context that the context variable gets passed around the back test. It's like self in a, in a Python class. All right, the actual trading logic, it looks like a lot of code, but it's actually quite straightforward when, when I explain it. We first figure out making sure that all the assets are tradable. So uh, Zipline gives us this can trade method, which checks to see if there is market data on that day, and it checks to see if there's sufficient volume on that day. Remember, we're talking about a back test. So that's the first thing. This is just kind of a check. Then we see if there are no tradable assets, let's just liquidate everything. So we say order target percent for every asset, set that target percent to zero. We then create an equal weight across every asset in our portfolio. Now you can get very sophisticated in the way that you construct portfolios. For our purposes, all we are doing here is doing equal weight. We look to see if there are any open orders. This is another a beautiful thing of Zipline Reloaded. And we close any positions that we want to divest uh, or otherwise in the not in the target basket. And then we finally figure out and trade the assets that we want to be long. So through this process, we are basically constructing the portfolio every rebalance period, which in our case, we have set to every month, okay? So this is the entire logic very, very straightforward. It's all based on the factor, right? So we are looking at the universe of tradable assets that are based on the factor, which is low volatility. Finally, we will run the back test. Now, a couple things to note. Now, obviously you're going to see this and say 2015 to 2018. What the heck? Well, this is using the free Quandl data. Okay. So zipline reloaded, you need to bundle up market data and make it available to the back testing engine. This can get a little bit tricky um, if you're not used to Zipline. Uh, and the pros of using this approach is that the data is free, okay? All you need to do is set yourself up with a free API key. You go to the NASDAQ data link website, so data.nasdaq.com. You sign up, you get yourself an API key. And then to ingest and bundle the data, it's actually just two or three lines of code. Um, let me show it to you here. I'll, I'll put it right above. So if you've never gone through this process before, this is what you do. You insert your NASDAQ data link API key here. You run this. This takes about, I don't know, 15 or 20 minutes. It pulls down a bunch of CSV files and it creates the underlying mechanism that Zipline Reloaded needs to run. And that's what we're, we're using. Now, you can go by, since this is free, you can go to norgatedata.com if you'd like. Nor gatedata.com. Uh, they provide a paid, very high quality data set that plugs right into Zipline, uh, but it is paid. So I always recommend people just to get their heads around this, this library with the fake data, not the fake data, but the older data. And then once you're familiar with it, you can actually take it into production. So this takes, this back test run takes a couple minutes. So I'm just going to pause the video and I'm run it and come back to you in a second. Okay, that took, I don't know, about three minutes, maybe four minutes to run in total. And one of the other beauties of Zipline Reloaded is we get this performance output. Now the performance output is a Pandas data frame and it gives you a daily look at all of the metrics of the back test. So if I actually just do info here, you can see what we get out of the back test. We get, uh, you know, obviously the period opening and closing, the capital use, starting value, returns, the leverage data, orders, algo volatility, the Sortino ratio, alpha, beta. We didn't pass any uh, benchmarks here, so it's blank. But if you pass in a benchmark, you get the alpha and beta, the sharp, the max leverage, all of this information, uh, which is just so nice so that you don't have to deal with it um, otherwise. Okay. So let's just take a quick look at the overall equity curve of this thing. If I go to portfolio value, this tracks the uh, portfolio value on a daily basis. And you can see the equity curve is, is pretty fantastic, right? Like, you know, I'm estimating here, but the drawdown is maybe five to 10%. 
we go from around 100K to 130K over that three year period. Okay, so that's, I don't know, 10, 12, 13 annualized percent. I'm, I'm just estimating here, but that's a pretty solid equity curve. Now we can look at the sharp ratio. The way that Zipline Reloaded does the sharp ratio, it's like an expanding window. So at the very beginning, the sharp ratio always looks very clunky. So I always pick off like the last year or two uh, to review. So if we do performance um, sharp and we index on the last maybe 252 days, you can see it's a time series. And if you plot this, you can see the rolling sharp ratio. So the sharp is at anywhere between you know 0.9 and 0.75. It oscillates. This is why I always suggest people take these rolling windows. People who take a one-off snapshot, they're typically missing some of the detail. Uh, but a very, very solid sharp ratio, close to uh, one on a very low vol strategy. And you just take the mean over the same period and you can see it's 0.84, hence the title of this video. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Now, Zipline Reloaded, there is some complexity getting it set up, especially if you're just getting started. Um, I cover Zipline Reloaded in a lot of detail in my course, Getting Started with Python for fin uh, Quant Finance. So if you're interested in learning more about backtesting, algorithmic trading, it's a very, very affordable way to get eyeball deep in this stuff very quickly. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and we will see you all next time. Cheers.